Hello everyone, welcome back. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can prorate all the pays related to admin. As I mentioned earlier, you don't want to actually give access to the normal user or maybe uh, unauthorized user to access those pays uh, which are actually related to admin. So, to do this, we have to create a middleware and every single time we have to check all the requests that the request is coming from home. Uh, the normal user or admin or any unauthorized user. So we'll check, we'll track the user and then we'll send him to the admin dashboard if it is admin. So for this, we have to create a middleware at first and I'm going to create a separate controller also for the admin. Here you can see we have a create user controller. If I go to the app history B then controller, you can see we have user controller, profile controller to actually control the profile related thing. And controller is the main controller class. So, uh, I mean, it, it will actually extend by every single, uh, you know, at, I mean, every single class we have actually created here. Okay. So, uh, user controller is for the user. Okay. Normal user. So, I'm going to create admin controller for the admin. Okay. So, let's go create at first a controller that is admin controller. And here I'm going to say CLS to clear the screen. And here I'm going to say PHP artisan artisan make colon controller and now we get admin controller admin c o n t r o w a yeah, controller so we have created admin controller here you can see admin controller now uh, we'll create admin middleware so controller and middleware are not same right controller to control the files middleware to, to protect all the base so we need to uh, create middleware for what to check and protect all the base but controller to control all the things uh, that will be actually, you know, sent from the, you know, web.php, okay. So, let's go create a middleware for the admin and we'll keep it, uh, I mean, make it as admin middleware, okay. I mean, we'll, we'll keep the name as admin middleware, okay. So, here we'll say php artisan make colon middleware and then the middleware name and that is admin middleware. So, now, here you can see we have a middleware. And that is admin middleware. Okay. Now, uh, here you guess we have a return next request. Okay. So, what will happen? Now, if anybody want to go to admin related base, there is no restriction. They can actually go. So, we are going to create here condition. So, I'm going to say that if we have the class auth colon colon, I will check at first that the user is admin or not so first of all we will check the authentication authentication i mean the user is authenticated i mean user is logged in or not okay then we will check auth colon colon sorry colon colon we will say user class then we have a column that is type in the user class let me show you if i go in the database here you can see user type if i go to the structure you will find it here you can see type so We'll check that type is equal to admin or not. If it is admin, okay, then we'll actually give him access. Otherwise, otherwise we'll say that unauthorized access. Now we'll actually cut it from here and paste it inside of uh, this function. Uh, I mean, sorry, this clause. Okay, if statement. And now here uh, we'll actually use a function that is called abort. And here we are going to mention a page number at first and there is let's say 401 maybe you can use 403 and then we have to use comma and then here we have to say any message let's say unauthorized access let's say unauthorized access so if you are not admin doesn't matter if you are a normal user or unauthorized user will show a page and there is unauthorized access so 401 page okay that's it. Now, every single time we will actually uh, add uh, in here, you can see web.php uh, in the route. If we use this middleware, here you can see we are using, uh, you know, Laravel Breeze created middleware and there is auth for the authentication. So, we will actually add middleware for the admin. And if we add it in any route, then nobody can actually access that page without completing or without fulfilling the condition. So here you can see, 
when I mention middleware, it has a name, right? But we have created the middleware. Okay, fine. We have a name, admin middleware. But uh, we have to actually call it through a name, right? So we have to give it a name and to give it a name and to add it uh, as a middleware, uh, I mean, as a name, we have to actually go for the kernel.php. And we know after Laravel 11, we have, uh, you know, no such a file that is called kernel.php. But no worry, we have bootstrap here and then we have app.php. And here we are going to actually add those middlewares. Here you can see we have uh, here arrow sign, then with middleware function, then middleware middleware. So we are going to use this dollar middleware here. And I'm going to set dollar middleware. And here I'm going to say allies. Okay. And here we are going to use this square brackets. Why? Because maybe we can have multiple middlewares, not just only admin middlewares. Maybe we have multiple user types. So maybe we can actually go for some other middlewares also. So here we are going to use all the middleware. And here now I will give it a name and that is admin so that I can access it in the web.php as name. Here you can see auth we have the name and now let's say I want to access it for the admin. So I will say here admin, okay, admin. So then it will actually go for the admin middleware. But we haven't actually created So let's go to the app.php inside bootstrap. Then here we are giving here now admin name and then now I will actually say, okay, fine. Bro, now go for app backslash middlewares. Uh, let me check. First of all, we have to go for the app, then HTTP, right? Then middlewares, okay. Then app HTTP, okay, backslash middleware. Backslash the middleware name we have actually created and that is admin middleware. Then we have to say colon colon class, then comma. So guys, we have named it as admin and we have added the middleware. And now uh, our middleware name is admin. Now we can actually access it in any route. Okay. So now let's say I want to create a um, file. Okay. Just a temporary file. Now if I say new file and if I say, okay, uh, test file dot blade dot php. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to say here this is test file from admin. So now let's say I want to create a route for this. So I'm going to copy this route, going to paste it here, and I'm going to say, uh, if I say here, let's say test, okay, test admin, and it will actually go uh, to put to the admin controller, uh, sorry, admin folder, right? Inside views, we have admin folders. Here you can see admin folders. Then we'll actually go for the test file test file file dot blade dot now what will happen let's say anyone uh, want to access the pace let's say it's not logged in it's at first not logged in so it will go for the test uh, file if i press enter or uh, not found okay so we have to actually mention here uh, the url name and that is i forgot to mention the url name and that is test admin right okay Test admin. So let's copy this and let's let's paste it here. And now let's I want to access it. And here you can see without login, anyone can access the pace or file. So now let's say this is uh, add item pace. So anyone can actually add any item, right? If the user is login, let's say normal user, password one two three, or let's say two four six eight login. And let's say Currently, the user is logged in and now if the user want to access this space, still user can access it. So, we want to prevent this, right? So, for this, we have cleared the middleware, right? Now, what we have to do is we have to actually go here and here we are going to access, I mean, we are going to give here the middleware at first. So, I'm going to say here middleware and here in the middleware, are going to mention that okay you have to be at first authenticated okay then you have to the admin okay and then uh, obviously you have to be verified so let's copy this and we'll say here very 
side and then it means you have to log in then verify them you have to be admin also okay and then you can actually access this this admin test file now what will happen if i refresh uh okay so i'm getting this error from the admin middleware right here i can see so let's go to the admin middleware admin middleware okay so i have actually used here auth class and i haven't actually imported right so i have to import it so use illuminate backslash support support okay facade uh f c a d s facade backslash auth now i hope okay and now here you can see unauthorized access now i cannot actually access it why i have already logged in right if i go if i go to the dashboard here you can see i have logged in as a normal user still i cannot access the admin test not from so test admin maybe test admin yes i cannot access this here you can see unauthorized so why this is because i have actually added here in the webbot php in the route i have added the middleware right and actually we don't want to return anything from here directly so that is the reason actually i have created here admin controller so let's add at first the controller here so that i can actually access this admin controller so we have to just say here admin controller c o n t r o w -E. so now here i have to add here and i have to say that admin admin controller colon colon class okay then i have to give here a function let's say admin test so i'm going to copy this function name let's go to the admin controller and here we are going to create a function public function admin test okay and here i'm going to say return view and here i'm going to say okay go for the admin dot the file name is what test file test file now this is uh, you know well maintained right now if i want to access it you can see unauthorized now let's say i want to log out at first and now if i want to access the page let's say slash test admin it will took me to the login page because i have to authenticate at first okay here you can see i have chat that okay first of all you have to be authenticated then verified then admin right okay so uh, you have to actually log in and then now let's say i want to log in as uh, the admin so now i can access it okay two four six eight login and here you can say i can access it because currently it uh, fulfill the criteria right admin so this is uh, why actually we have to uh, create middleware okay to protect all the pages so guys i hope you understand thank you so much for watching